Good morning, everyone. It's Tammy Tatsy2 here. And I have been tagged in the 20 um, must-haves and favorites for 2012. And I was tagged by Crafty Fox 723 Hi, Joanne. You got me. Okay, and I'm sorry, ladies. I am full of boogers today. I have got the nastiest head cold, but I'm going to do this anyways. Okay, so... Everybody has pretty much every, you know, the same things and stuff. We all just kind of, you know, have a variety. Maybe different name brands and stuff. So I'm going to show you what I use for all my stuff. Um, these are things that are on my desk at all times or near my desk so that I can just grab them as needed. Okay, so first up, of course, our cutters. I mean, we've got to have our cutters. I love my Fisker's cutter. It has a titanium blade in it. It has a wire a guide wire that just makes life easy for me. And I also keep beside me my um, Creative Memories um, guillotine cutter. And it's nice and small. It's great for like little tags and stuff. It doesn't have, you know, the fine um, detail uh, measurements, but it's okay because it does do the quarter inch. So I do keep that on my, you know, handy and use it quite a bit. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, my self-healing mats. Now, I have a really large one that is 24 inches by uh, 17 inches that sits on my desk, and I can't move it, and you can't see it because the camera doesn't reach there. But I also have these. I have two of these, and these are just small self-healing mats. I picked them up at a dollar store. And, you know, they're really, really great to have because they're portable. You can move them anywhere on your desk that you need or wherever you're crafting. Okay, so those those are a must-have. Otherwise, you're cutting your desk up. Okay? Um, okay. Now, everybody knows how much I love to fussy cut. Now, everybody says to fussy cut on a, a glass. Well, I fussy cut on a little mirror. And the reason I do that is because the way the light shines back up through the paper... It really makes it easy to get the little details that you're cutting out. So to me, that is one of the biggest must-haves. And I like this size because it's just compact, it's portable, I can stick it anywhere. Okay? And there, yeah, you did get to take a peek at me. How's that? There you go. There, see? Okay. So everybody got a peek at me. Okay, now... Um, Another one, number four here, is chipboard. Everybody knows how much I love to build things and stuff. Well, I use a lot of chipboard, and I use a lot of different weights of chipboard. I use them in natural colors, in black. Um, I don't care for the white. It doesn't seem to... I don't know. I just can't... I just don't care for it that much. So I prefer, of all, the natural or the craft-colored one. And I love the black for, you know... Well, it's my standby, and it's actually thicker than my others. And I do have, like I said, several thicknesses. So to me, that is a big must-have, and I have it in several sizes as well. 8.5 by 11, 12 by 12, and I even have 16 by 16. Okay, now also, knives. To me, craft knives are very important because of all the fussy cutting I do. And I only use, for the knives, I use a couple of the... Just simple um, X-Acto knives. You know, they work great. Uh, I replace the blades whenever I need. But I really like this one for my Cricut, too, because I don't know if you can see it, but it's a square blade. And it's beveled on both sides like a chisel. Well, not like a chisel. Chisels are on one side. But it really works great when I'm doing all those little fine corners. It really cuts those corners out because you can just press straight down with it. Works fantastic. Okay. So to me, yes, those are a big must have. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I've got a big I have a big spinner over here. And I put all my stuff in it as I'm going along. Okay. Another must have for me are things. Sorry, you gotta find them now. I forgot to pull them out. Okay. 
Okay, I use clamps, and I like these. They're like plastic clothespins, and they are super strong, and I use them for everything. And I have to have a good nail file because when you're doing chipboard, you know, it just... Those edges are so important. And then my paper, my piercer. And I like this one because I can extract it, like I can put it out to however, you know, whatever length I want. And that is, to me, is absolutely ideal. Because some things, you know, I don't need to pierce quite as deeply. Okay. Now, I have a lot, a lot of things that, to me, are a real necessity. But I'm only going to do the ones that, like I said... Um, I use all the time. And scissors, to me, are, of course, the biggest must-have. These are what I just call my ginormous, everyday, whatever scissors. Okay, and then I have my cutter bees. And these are so awesome, and I love them. And they, yes, they stay in their case when I'm not using them. Okay, they're very important to me. Um, they, you know, they just do the finest little things. And then I have my fussy cut scissors. Um, this pair, as you can see, is well loved. Um, it got a boo boo. It broke, and I had to take uh, band actually bandage it back together. And then I received some new ones for Christmas as well. And I, you know, I live with my fussy cut scissors because well, it's what I love to do. Okay. So next up here, my rulers. And you do need good rulers. You really do. Um, and I use four different ones that sit with me all the time. Okay. I love this one. This is the Easy Rule Junior. Okay. It's a Sharon Haltgren. Now, I used to do quilt making. And this was my quilt making ruler. I love this thing. You know, it just, it always seems to be just the right size that I need for cutting tags, lines, you name it. it. It's perfect. Okay, like, yeah, that one is, is a must-have. If you can afford one, go and get it. You will never, ever regret it. Then I have my center line rule from Exacto. Sorry, I keep getting off camera here. And I love this one. Um, it's got metric and standard measurement. Um, it's great. It also has these small holes, sorry, these small holes at every half inch, which are great for marking because you're always dead on the money then. Okay, it's also got the grids here so that you can uh, line up as needed. It's so hard to see that. Okay, but I love having the center cut. The only thing I do wish I had was the metal edge that the Tim Holtz one has. Um... The reason I went with this one is that it has the metric on the other side, and I really, when I'm doing really super fine details and measurements, I use the millimeters because it's just so much easier and it's so close then. Then I also use two metal rollers, um, obviously for, you know, cutting against and stuff. Um, they're very good to have, and I like the two sizes because sometimes you're working on just a small project, Little one's great to have too. Okay? So that's those. Now, a friend of mine, Bella Poupe, 61, here on YouTube, she gifted me this chomper, the corner chomper, or the croc crocodile ch quarter chomper, sorry. This thing is the best thing ever. Ever, ever, ever. If you can afford it, invest. I thought, oh, you know, it's a big bulky thing. It's, you know, it's not going to do. I went through so many of those little corner punches. Absolutely stupid. Stupid. This thing, it goes through chipboard. It goes through everything. I love this thing. Okay, so this to me is more than a must-have. Okay. Now, what have we got up next? Ah. Uh, okay. My tapes. Okay. Now, with all the, the building and stuff that I do, I can't live without score tape. And I, um, I get all my score tape and ATG tape through uh, Scrapbooking With Me Boutique on Facebook. That's Edith. 
ray and you know it comes in so many different sizes and I love it. She has everything from eighth inch up to like two and a half inch wide and I mean I couldn't live without this and she keeps the prices where I can actually afford to keep it on hand at all times and I do I use two and three rolls in a, a project and I couldn't put mine together without these. I'd have to use hot glue for everything and I don't like hot glue. It, um, Yeah, it works. It works great. I use it to hold things while the glue is drying, but I try not to use hot glue for things. And then I also get my ATG refills through her. Um, these are, I guess they, they class them as the no-name brand, but you know what? They work just as good and sometimes they actually even work better than the Scott brand ones for my, my pink ATG gun. And I do have the pink gun. Okay? So this is the quarter inch tape. Okay, and I also picked that up through Edith at Scrapbooking with Me Boutique. You know, you just you gotta see her stuff. It she keeps me stocked, well stocked. Okay. Now glues and adhesives. I use several types of glue. Um I use the the no no one that everybody gets upset with me about. And that is my E6000. And I only use the E6000 if I really, 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 really have to. I don't like the smell of it. Um, it leaves that after smell on my projects. I really don't like it. But if I have a metal piece that just isn't going to bond, then I use it. Okay? But otherwise, no, I don't. My favorites are the Fast Grab Tacky Glue by Aileen's. And the three in one um, advanced craft glue by <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. Not a clue. How does that sound? Anyways, I get these at Walmart. Okay? They're really cheap at Walmart. Um, a lot cheaper than going to Michael's or Joann's or any of the other places, okay? So always check there first for them. Um, I love the three-in-one. It's really good, but it's really stringy. So I really use it a lot for uh, my chipboard project because it's hidden underneath if it strings. Okay, but I do use it for making like spider webs and stuff in corners of windows and stuff. So that's another good bonus for it. Um, my Aileen's, you know, it just does what I want it to do. And it bonds so nicely and it's so quick to dry. You know, it, they're great. I also use Glossy Accents a lot. Um, I buy several bottles at a time. I keep them on hand. They work really, really well for all those, you know, those little details. I don't just use it for um, highlighting. You know, no. And then um, my matte medium. I prefer the Claudine Helmets, um, but it's really hard for me to get it here. So, a lot of times I have to use this Ink Essentials by Ranger. And it's the glue and seal, but it's the matte finish. It works, you know, pretty much the same. I Like I said, I like the Claudians better. It does hold better, but I will use this when I really have to. And I go through a lot of it when I'm doing kids' projects. Okay, um, now I have the large Martha Stewart scoreboard, but my girlfriend, Christine... Bella Pupe 61 again. She gifted me this this year, and it's the small scoreboard. I love this scoreboard. <laughs> it is so handy. It is, like, the best thing ever. And it's so small and compact, and it sits here on my desk all the time. And I use it all the time. I'm one of those people that scores constantly. Okay. Um, another thing is my Tim Holtz spinner. Okay, I love my spinner. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. I love my spinner. I love it, I love it, I love it. It keeps all my ink pads and stuff perfectly where I want them. They're always handy. Okay? But I also like, not just the sponges, but a must-have to me are the dusters. Okay, and I get these from Joanna Sheen on um, the internet. And she's out of England, and she offers free shipping. And these ink dusters, I actually saw um, Claire, who is Charlie Gibson here on YouTube, um, use them. 
and they are phenomenal for um, all the little detailed work and stuff. Like they blend unbelievably. The only thing I do find is that um, you have to really brush the blazes out of them before you use them and get all the loose stuff out first. But after that, like they are, they are a must-have. Okay, especially if you're doing a lot of uh, inking. And what I like is that they fit on my spinner perfectly. Okay, next up. Our video's getting really long, so let's get through this fast. Um, embossing powders. I mean, I love embossing powders. My favorite are the Lindy's and the Magic Moon Pearls. I really love, I love all of the Lindy's embossing powders. They're two-toned, beautiful things. And I do a lot of heat embossing. Perfect to have. Okay. Um, my Lindy's, okay. To me, this is a must-have. This is my basket of goodies. Well, one of my baskets of goodies. And that is my Lindy's. Whether it's the sprays, the moon shadow inks. I'm really hooked on the magicals. Um, I mix them up with either like in a spray bottle of water or just as is and paint with them. Whatever. As you can see, there is a basket full of them. I do have to figure out an organization to go for them. That's my goal for this next year. But Lindy's, they are a must-have for any project that you're doing. Okay. Um, and of course, the distress inks. I mean, I have, I think, 17 of them. I would love to have all of them, but I use, I have the 17 that I use the most. Um, must have, must have, must have. They just bring your project to life. Okay. So that's a must have. Um, you need to have a good embossing pad. I like the emboss. It just seems to um, stick better than the Versamark to me. Um, whether it's our weather here, I don't know, or my technique, whichever, this is the one I prefer, okay? Gotta have it. And then you need a really good ink. Now, I like the archival ink because I don't do um, Copic coloring, but I do like the archival for the fact that it sticks to everything that I put it on, whether it's acetate or... It just sticks to everything, and I love it. It stays pure. It stays clean. It's the, the color never, ever changes. So I have quite a few of those as well. Okay. And then next up, we have... I have a Cricut. I have the large Cricut, the original expressions. And then my, my cuddle bug. Now, I love this cuddle bug. Everybody says we'll get an... Uh, uh, one of the bigger ones. You know what? I don't want one of the bigger ones. I like this one. Yes, it's the old style turn the old handle one. You know what? Love it. It it doesn't take up any room. It's lightweight. Works great for me. And then of course I have to have my my dies and embossing folders. And I've got several of the dies. I like I really like the uh, Sizzix alteration like the Sizzix dies because I can cut multiple multiple layers at one time. Um, I also like the nest abilities. The only thing, and what I do like about these is being able to place it over my picture and cut exactly where I want. Okay, I do love that effect. So, yes, you do need them. And you need embossing folders. You know, they really highlight your project, they just give it a whole new um, look and aspect. They're wonderful. So, that's my list of 20 must-haves and what I love for 2012 and I am tagging four people to uh, this challenge. I am starting with Christine, that's Bella Pupe 61, um, Edith Ray, Scrapbooking with Me, Holly Miller and she is Kelly 3684 and I'm also going to tag Angela and she is Molson 352 and I will put links to all of their channels below and everyone have a very happy new year and again Joanne thanks for the tag have a great day everyone love you all